I'm just trying to get your side of the story. Is there any way you can... I can't, my attorney. I'm, I'm not allowed to. John, please. Thank can you please just tell me, Tom? I, I want to get your side. Oh. First, he dodged us. But when we finally caught up with him, Thomas Lambert, a New Jersey parole officer, didn't have much to say. Were you being a tough guy because you had a badge? No. That's what they are saying. Well, that's what they're saying, but I'm not allowed to comment on these things. Thank you. According to witnesses, Lampert had plenty to say to the 14-year-old plate umpire at a baseball game here in Jersey City. The kids playing ranged in ages from 8 to 10 years old, and Lampert apparently was right here arguing balls and strikes, and it led eventually to him being charged with assaulting the umpire. And she tagged up. This is Ryan Houghton's first year working one of the more thankless jobs one can imagine, being an umpire for kids and dealing with their parents. The parents can get out of control at these games, and this is the ultimate getting out of control, right? Yeah, this is the top of the bar of getting out of control. Now, Lampert's own son apparently was playing in the game, but witnesses say it didn't stop him from causing a major ruckus, banging on the sign here and saying nasty things to the umpire, things like, you suck, and you need to go back to umpire school. Were you in fear of your safety and your, I mean, how bad did it get in your mind? The guy was really aggressive and when he was screaming at the top of his lungs, cursing. I asked him to leave and he said no. And that's when he said, that's when I told him I was gonna call the police. And he said that he is the police and nothing was gonna happen to him. According to the police report, a coach named Laura Swift, who witnessed the whole thing, says that that conversation was a little bit more nasty. In fact, language was used that you wouldn't expect to hear at a game for little kids. The report reads, Lambert said, I am the expletive police, and now who the expletive you going to call? You were here, right? Yep, and, and he was there, and then out of nowhere, he just backed up and popped me right in the right. face. So it's just like this, right? Boom. Goes through. Enough to go through, hit you. Hit me and take off my mask and then hit me in the face on the side. Maria Rodriguez was the other umpire working the game with Kevin. As he banged the fence, that face mask hit him. And his face was all red. Let the kids enjoy the game. We don't need no parents harassing us or anything. And it was uncalled Ironically, the umpire's dad, Kevin Houghton, also wears a badge. He's a sergeant with the Hoboken Police Department. I can't for the life of me understand how a 40-year-old is going to just haul off and punch a 14-year-old in the face over making a call, strikes or balls. I, I, I'm, I'm still, I'm not, I'm not getting it. The umpire's dad also doesn't get why prosecutors downgraded the charges in this case. The guy was originally charged with assault at a youth sporting event, something in New Jersey that's designed to deter things like this from happening. But it was knocked down to simple assault. We tried to get answers from the Hudson County Prosecutor's Office, but they did not return our phone calls. I want to talk to you about the, the incident with the umpire. Getting answers from Lambert was tough, too. I'm just trying to get your side of the story. Is there any way you can... can't, my attorney. I'm, I'm not allowed to. Come on, please. Thank can you please just tell me, Tom? I, I want to get your side. Oh. But we later caught up with him in Passaic, apparently on the way to work. Were you being a tough guy because you had a badge? No. That's what they are saying. Well, that's what they're saying, but I, I'm not allowed to comment on these things. Thank you. But there's witnesses, Tom. I, I know. I have witnesses also. So wh why would they make something like that up? I don't know. Huh? I, d I don't know. They're whole, why would they? It's, it seems like a weird story to make up. Lampert is not only facing the assault charge, but he's being investigated by the parole board. They're going to see if they have to discipline him or if what happened here has any effect on his future as a parole officer. I'm John Dutzman, Fox 5 News. Well, Mr. Lambert's next court date is Friday. His attorney told Fox 5 that his office is still investigating this incident and is not prepared to comment at this time.